uh, Ofcom had suggested, said, uh, advised him that he should give it to the Competition Commission. The reason he didn't give it to the Competition Commission was plainly because he had decided he wanted to make sure that he favoured Rupert Murdoch and gave him what would have gifted him a monumental monopoly of British uh, media. I don't think anybody quite understands what he would have done. He would have bundled together all of his newspapers, all of the online, all of the newspapers, all of the television, all of his sports rights, movie rights, into, abs into a package that would have been irresistible at a very low price because he, he would have done it as a loss leader to start with. He would have driven out of business all of the other news providers, every single one of them. He would have been the single monopoly voice. The second thing he was going to do was to press, and he was already beginning to do this, was to press to change the impartiality laws that keep our broadcasting decent and safe and make sure that there is balance in programmes like this. And he would have then turned his newsroom operation into a Fox News operation. And we've seen what that did to, has done to American politics. We've seen how appalling American political discussion has become. And we were within days of doing that. And if Nick Davis of The Guardian hadn't just discovered and unearthed and exposed at that point the brutality of the hacking of Millie Dowler's phone, within days, the game would have been up. Murdoch would have had the whole thing, and that would have been the end of the story. But the evidence that was heard...